I think Bowser and I no, just, only Bowser. I think has I to see say that. it. I see it all the time. John loses to like random DD players. He'll lose to Bowser's. You know, he'll lose to like you know someone comes along with Rob, and that's tough for him as well. It's been a while since he's lost to any of the DDDs. Um, I guess most specifically Grantel would be like the DDD. Did he has well, he lost Riley? Riley? Riley, he gets kind of bopped by. Like oh, Riley he, beat him mm -hmm. several times. Riley has okay. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, he's also lost. Uh, Riley's lost to Suarez as well, but yeah, it's like a back and forth thing, though. Yeah, I he has he has the wins. You know, they're going right into losers eighths. I guess so. Or this is losers. I mean, loser gets this would be this yeah, is quarters, 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 quarters. So guy guy playing a lot of buyouts lately, apparently. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if we're gonna see that. Uh, if not, you know, he's definitely here for the resurgence of buyout interest. Yeah, buyout is so cool. Definitely a big fan. I know you're uh, not a fan of Byleth. That's not true. I I am actually of all the DLC characters, Byleth's my favorite to play. Really? Yeah. yeah. Byleth's super uh, fun. Oh, oh, actually, Banjo isn't. I forgot. You forget Banjo's a DLC character because he's not a nah. good character. You Byleth, know? Byleth and Banjo came into this game fucking hand in hand. Yeah. Not everyone was given the golden, uh, the yeah. golden, the Sakurai, Joker like. pyro. They weren't given volume yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. You know, DLC pass two is definitely the blessed path. Yeah, Min, 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 Min Joker I, and Pithra have it so good. Do I like playing Byleth more than Pyra? I I like Pyra a lot. Yeah, Pyra's really fun. I think they're both really fun. You have to you have to like both of them in order to like really. I don't though. That's, that's the, the thing. thing. You're not a Mithra player. No, no, Definitely no. But not. Pyra is fun to play solo. Mojo's the same way. He likes Pyra, but he doesn't really like because he and I are we're heavies at heart. He he's a DK true, player. True, true. Pyra is like DK except with a better F smash. You know. I think Mo just like he's got he's heavy at heart, and then like somewhere along the line he like adopted my taste, but he still loves DK the most, and like we all know it, right? Like yeah, he's the DK man because like he does play Plyalu. He does play DK. I hope it's not against Bio. He still also has that Sephiroth. I I think Mojo's Sephiroth is really good, but oh, this More is what bird. we're getting yeah. today. More bird. More bird. No Biolith. Oh, I hate it here. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about this matchup? It's it's this bird matchup? Luigi. Yeah, like, dead ass. Like these characters do the same thing. Falco just looks cooler while doing it. I'm like, gonna agree on that. They both do a great job of controlling a small space, and they could do a lot in that series of control. They also have the tools that allow them to mix up what they do at the end point of that control. And at the very least, I feel like Guy Guy does a good job of showcasing that because like he can do the zero to deaths, but like he does other stuff to this character too. At least makes it more flavorful to watch. True. I think one thing that's difficult about this matchup is that Falco's really good at forcing and jumps. Nice edge guard, by the way. You always go out there against Luigi. Seven out of eight times, it's good. Um, would you yeah. say nine out of ten dentists would agree? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still wondering who the one dentist is. <laughs> the one dentist is like, but one time he misfired, and it was bad. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I think Falco can force jumps pretty much whenever he wants by just shooting, just standing laser, just laser, 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 and then Luigi's like, all right, I have to jump over this. And Luigi in the air is not a, not a happy plumber, you know. Facts. Like, see, he he tried to roll there and it got punished because of the one laser, you know. But in spite of a lot of his brawling tools, he is an unusually floaty character when it comes to that offstage play. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. much as the fate of all floaties, like offstage, if you're not controlling that space, you're in deep danger. Mm -hmm. That was a nice control uh, there for sure. Ooh, yeah, he wanted it. Okay, we're going to get that forward air. Yeah. Yep. It's very been very consistent at those two frames. Oh, hey, what? yeah, and would have killed any other character. Luigi happens to be one of them. So. Yeah, Luigi not, is a non-Yoshi character. <laughs> you, you see, you got the Yoshis. You got the not-Yoshi. <laughs> you, you can fit every Smash character into two categories. <laughs> That's so true. It's a 50-50 on a few Yoshi. There's not I've, Yoshi. I've not heard a lie. This is just facts. <laughs> so there's Yoshis. Yoshis include... Oh, oh that was a big yeah. turnaround. That's one less not Yoshi. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what... That, I was going to say earlier, that's kind of what I was expecting, a little bit of happening. Uh, Falco combos being interrupted by Green Tornado, because mm -hmm. uh, you've got an armored interruption tool. Yeah, but like we've been saying, Mojo hasn't really been... Like combo master. Ah. Yeah, see, seven out of eight. <laughs> I love how you had enough time to like mess up shooting the laser the wrong way and still turn around, fire a laser, find the down air. Yep. <laughs> Funny too is I expected some kind of trade there, but like nah. No, no, yeah, you hard lose. Falco's disjoint on down air is stupid good. I feel like Guy Guy makes especially good use of side B, with or without misfire. Yeah, and, like, it does. masks how bad that tool actually is. Mm 
there's so much risk behind side B. And I promise you, if Luigi Means had a say in the matter, they would have any other tool for moving themselves to the like, left or right. Just, just air drift. <laughs> just moving. Yeah. <laughs> Mobility. Literally press side B and just get to move like Wolf for like a couple of yep. seconds. Whoa, what is happening? Uh, the that Luigi guy's going crazy. Luigi at the ledge. What will Whoa. he do? He didn't have to do any of that. He was already dead like twice over. Yep. Yeah, that wasn't Yoshi, all right. No. Yeah, that was a non-Yoshi. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is this Yoshi? No, that doesn't look like Yoshi either. Oh, he had a chance to get out of there, but kind of panicked and shielded. And he ate so exactly much damage so fast. Wanted. We're just now passing like the 30-second mark of this match. <laughs> yeah. Luigi really do be a one-player game sometimes. Yeah. I mean, if he's playing hot, he's playing hot. I mean, yeah, Gaigai is a very mental-based player. And you have to be like that to play Luigi. And Gaigai, I mean, his advantage state is just in incredible. Like, it's, I mean, look at it. Like, yeah. I would definitely say, like, over the past few months, quite a lot of players have learned the Luigi matchup, which has forced Guy Guy into adapting to, like, fighting against a lot of the players, not just being good Luigi, but, like, putting that in tandem with knowing everyone's habits. True. Whoa. It forces him to be quick at adapting, and I think that's why we're seeing such a night and day difference from games one and two. Yeah, I think overall he's done a pretty good job, like, in the long run, it just, like, you know, not just being, like, the Luigi guy, but just, like, understanding people's habits and just doing what he has to do. And, I mean, this is a prime example that he's got a nice lead mm -hmm. here. The lightest touch. He's, his fireballs have been really good this game. They've been really... Like kind of choking out Mojo's like positioning. Yeah, that was like a tool we didn't see much of last game at all. But like this game, he used it like really well. Just kind of like keeping Mojo honest in terms of the way he's spacing himself. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of shield pressure. Good jab there. He was kind of in a disadvantage state, like due to the clink. Yeah, no, he had to do something to get this Luigi away from him. Good angle. Oh, patience oh. from Guy Guy. That's an option. Down air, down tilts. Yeah, we're going with the down tilts. No hip hop? Low okay, profiled yeah, no. under that, I guess. All right, Luigi, stubby where it counts, I guess. Yeah, good patience from Mojo, waiting out those invincible options. Mm. Ah! Um, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, like Falco, like looked down at his empty hand, like like Tom and Jerry style. Just like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a game. That was actually it was a really good game from Guy. Yeah, Guy, Guy just played really like, good. Yep. All right, right on back to stadium. Curious to see if we see the um, Palu Cloud. Even like, dude, I, I really think we'll just okay. No, he's no, going Falco today. He's going down with the ship on this one. I like the commitment. Good stuff, Tom. Yeah. I'm here for it. It's it's a bit of a refreshing change of pace. Yeah, Moto's got an arsenal, and all these characters are pretty solid. So, honestly, picking them out, just picking one on a training Tuesday and really riding with it, honestly, seems like a really smart idea. Could help him in the future if he really wants to go this character in, like, a more high-stress situation, you know? Like, Falco's definitely a character that can take advantage of good matchups, and if you have the fundamentals down pat with the character, as Mojo's done plenty good of showcasing tonight, like, definitely a character I'd like to see more of. Yeah, I agree 100%. I mean, I've played Falco many times. I know how good this thing is, and you know, Mojo like just a character, just a, like just a player who understands like a lot of characters very well. So I definitely do appreciate. Oh, Ooh. nice tech! Goodness, dude, I really thought he was dead. Yeah, no, solid DI, making sure to tech so he didn't get further juggled. Could have gone way worse, but you're still losing a stock either way. This character just snowballs so hard, man. Mojo with a much stronger start this game, looking more like game one. Lots more up tilts and uh, a lot less. Getting grabbed and he's there to death. Good ledge play. Oh, wait. Are we going to see a thing? Nope. No. No, we're thing. not. Nice pivot grab, getting something started, waiting for the invincible yeah. options. Waiting for it again, but can't quite hit the down air. But I like that Mojo's head's in the game. He looks like he knows when Guy Guy's going to go for those burst options, but it didn't pan out there, and Guy Guy takes that stock. Yeah, I think he's actually done a really good job waiting out Tornado, like, when it matters. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that can be really tricky against Luigi. Especially with a character like Falco, where, like, he kind of has to get up close if he wants to get his stuff going. Um, and he's not the fastest, uh, all things considered. Just remember that in this matchup, you don't want to ever get up close. Like, you don't have to because uh, like, Luigi also needs to get his stuff going by getting up yeah. close. So yeah. let him come to you because his approaches in the air especially are horrendous. It's yeah. like, in general, think about it. when With Falco, if he's up close to you, what's he getting? 
Maybe a landing fair, maybe an up tilt. Yeah. What's Luigi getting if he's close You're to dead. you? You're dead. You are now You are alive. either getting upbeat and completely having a stock erased, yep. or you get up tilted or grabbed, and then you get upbeat and erased. Yep. So, yeah, I think Tom would do much better. Just, yeah, see, he's kind of running away, disengaging any up close op options, and, uh, you know, kind of picking his battles, maybe with an up tilt or something as a counter approach option. I cannot believe he made it to ledge and got the ledge trump in the yeah. most. Lucky way possible. Yeah, no, that was a very lucky situation. But even that, it still leads us to the last stock situation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, he wants. I mean, I mean, yeah, he wants it. <laughs> like he, plays he, he needs oh, big wait, damage. He needs big okay. damage. Both of them, they need to do something to start their damage. Yeah, for sure. That's what these characters do. You know, they take one, they take an inch, they get a mile, man. Although I do think Mojo has been making really smart decisions as far as just going for getting little licks here and there and sort of dealing with it. <laughs> Forward air extended off the plunger. Hilarious. It happens, man. I see these lasers, like, forcing him to the platform, and now it's Luigi above the Falco, and that's exactly where you want him, because Mojo wants to get those up tilts. Okay, yeah, being very... He's using a lot of forward air this stock, man. Just, like, really trying to... Ooh. Oh, oh, he missed it! Oh, that was huge! Yeah, the rare miss. He's, like, really consistent with that, too. Let's see if that uh, costs him. Not patient enough with that one. You gotta be careful. That tornado can come out at any time. This is, it gets really scary, Back but he's air. dead. Not, no, he's Why? not? No. Oh! Oh, Phantom <laughs> Footstool. That was a great Phantom Footstool. He has ledge control. Oh, up yeah, smash time. Yep, yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. In the heat of the moment, really good decisions being made, but either way. 